Hey guys, this is Jonarelu. How's everybody doing today? On the last episode, we actually came across into the forest, found out the, um, the Devon Corporation guy, and also came all the way down here to Rustboro City. So now, we're gonna be looking around in Rustboro City, because it's gonna be a good thing to do, because why the fuck not? Because it's always a good thing to actually, um, you know, just talk to a lot of people and get some rare items that you never even have before or just never even used it before. And it's always a good chance to talk to these people because you'll never know if you're going to get the really good items. Like here, we got ourselves a Premier Ball. Same percent of chance as a freaking Pokeball, but who's counting? Okay, so I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, beginning of Saturday. My Saturday is kind of okay. I just finished Pokemon uh, Arceus and the Jewel of Life. And boy, does that bring me back memories. But after that, I am actually uh, playing this game for you guys. And um, I'm also having a little bit of headache, but as long as I'm okay, I think I'll be just perfectly fine. All in all... Just uh, going through all this and maybe hope for the better, she says, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so there's a. Uh... Okay. Uh, there's so many things we can actually do around these parts, especially going to the gym leader that you want to do. But I'm going to save that for another time. And also, I still have to level up my Pokemon as much as I can. Hey, you guys, you'll never know about that. Enough! Hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, cat was scratching the door, and that just drives me nuts. And anyways, we got ourselves an HM01 Cut. Alrighty, so we'll have to, like, uh, find a Pokemon to use Cut later points. But other in hand, I actually had to let my cat in because he was scratching my door, and it just drove me nuts. So I apologize if I actually yell at you guys. If I even think about blowing your ears out, so my apologies. Okay, this place. I don't understand. I really don't. Seriously, I really, really don't. Because um, a certain thing actually uh, has to do with upstairs. And if you try... Excuse you, I want to talk to you, little ma'am. So I've been trying to understand what this one actually happens. So apparently, uh, he's a new father and he would not actually, tr he's trying to make his daughter laugh. So in order to help him out, um, let's see here. Knock knock, I think. I think that's how you spell it. Knock, knock. Hmm. That's the thing I don't understand. Yeah, because you never understand, you never know what is actually uh, works better with this one, because... Yeah, see, I don't understand. You're trying to make a child smile because he's a new father. And you're trying to, like, understand what you're trying to do. And... I've been looking up on the videos to see if there's a way for us to actually make the little girl smile. And there is nothing. Nothing I can actually find. I mean, I can try looking at it again, but so far I couldn't find anything to actually make that little girl smile to, like, uh, her father. Her new father, I mean. But still, I, I just cannot seem to figure something out. 
Oh, I see someone over here. Someone looks familiar. I got cut. What happens if I talk to them again? Alrighty. So yeah, we actually met up with Scott. So apparently in uh, Pokemon uh, Sapphire and Ruby, that you don't actually talk to Scott, because apparently he's not into those games. But if you play in Pokemon Emerald, he's actually in this game, which is really interesting. We got ourselves a quick claw. That's freaking awesome. It's always a good idea to actually talk to these people in this one. And, um, yeah, it's always a good idea to talk to people to see uh, what items you're going to get. Okay, this house. No, thank you. This is my Ralts. This is my Ralts. I am not training you with Ralts. If you're playing Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, he will gi he will give you a ma um. Let's see here, uh, Makuhita for uh your for my um uh slack off. So in other words, in this game you can only uh, uh get C dot, which I actually found the C dot in only one percent of chance. In the freaking area where I was actually going to get uh, Ralts. I am not kidding. I actually literally found a C dot. 1% chance of finding a C dot. But, other hand, if you're actually, if you have a fire type Pokemon, like Torchic, for instance, and you want to figure out how to beat against Roxy as a rock type gym leader, then your only chance you can actually uh, trade your uh, uh, trade your Ralts for a C dot. So in other words, it's a kind of a good thing, I guess. It's kind of a good thing. Like don't get me wrong, it's kind of a good thing. But all in all, I mean, C dot is a really good Pokemon. Don't get me wrong, I love the Pokemon Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf is also my favorite Pokemon. But since I used Nuzleaf in my past time, and he's gonna run away, fuck off! Never gonna get the level I wanted. So, um, so the only cool thing is that you can actually uh, get um, C dot is actually by trading. But if you're playing, if you're playing Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you can probably get a different percent chance of gaining a C dot. So. Not sure which one it is, but it's one of those two that actually uh, you can get uh, C dot more more percent more percent chance to get it. So it's a distinct possibility, and don't you? Okay, good. I was afraid that Trico was going to be poisoned, and da, 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 da. I was afraid it was going to be poisoned, but luckily I don't think he's, I don't think she will be. I'm getting I I get used to calling a C dot a C dot. Trico, uh, uh, he, because, huh, it's, uh, it almost looked like a he, but it's actually a she, so, I have seen a female Trico, uh, though, um, when I was, uh, watching Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, and how Ash and the others had to take care of the new, uh, new Pokemon, uh, Torchic, Tri uh, Torchic, Trico, and Mud Mudkip, and how, uh, Torchic <clears throat> evolved into Combuskin, that the new trainer was going to choose one of those three, but cannot choose for Combuskin. So, her father actually decided to choose a uh, Trico, which is a little female Trico, which is, she is so adorable with her cute little eyes. 
Oh my god, this is the Pokemon I want to use, actually. But, unfortunately, it's a male, so I'm freaking going to uh, gain a level. But I do want to use this Pokemon, and I never used it before. Don't get me wrong, guys. I love Wismer, but I never used Wismer in my entire life. I want to find a male one. And there goes Nova by making a noise again. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is the Wismer I want to use for a member of my team, but since it's a female, I want to get myself a male. So, this is the this is the thing I want to do. It's actually get a new Pokemon I've never used before, or never even tried it, or never give it a chance to try it. So, it's a pretty simple thing to do. It's just that um, I just never used those Pokemon before. Don't know why, to be honest. I mean, I'd rather actually use those Pokemon, but it just never came across my mind to think about using them at all. And it would be a good chance to use it. I mean, so far, according to other people, like other YouTubers that I actually see that actually play these kind of games, that actually use these Pokemon, and I never actually thought they would actually be a good ones. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't even know what Pokemon I was going to choose. Or how am I going to, like, win all this battle? But, all in all, it would be a good chance to actually, like, uh, use these Pokemon that I never even once used before. So, why not just, like, give them a try and just, you know, give them a chance? I mean, they're really good Pokemon, don't get me wrong. It's just I never even once used them before. So, I'm going to use Wismer as part of my team. Although, I really want to find a male, because, um, I already got two females, and to be perfectly honest, I like to actually use a male and, uh, like, three females and three males. That way, it's actually sort of like an even number, and that's just, that's just who I am, because I, I actually wanted to actually, like, you know, make it as an even number, and hopefully I can actually, like, you know, uh, like, use these Pokemon. So, all in all. Yeah, keep on using a move that makes no sense, okay? Just freaking go down. There we go. So, I'm just leveling up my uh, Trico as much as I can before she battles against, um, against Roxy. Because it's always a good idea to, like, freaking... Uh, battle of their trainers to get level up. And oh my god, why can't you be a male? Seriously! Fucking A! Give me a fucking fee- Give me a fucking male. Like, seriously. Come on, dude. But no, it's actually a good idea to, like, uh, level up your Pokemon as much as you can and, uh, you know, just go from there. I mean, battling against other Pokemon is not really a bad thing. I just like to do it. So, it just makes it a whole lot easier and just, like, you know, freaking do it already. Okay, so, effects four. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so, let's, uh, no, I don't want to absorb my freaking rolls. Are you crazy? Here's another thing that you can actually do in this game. Apparently, you can attack your own partner Pokemon that's right beside you and just go from there and... It just makes it a lot difficult for double battles, which is suck as hell. And, of course, she's use, he's using uh, Stun Spore. Fuck off! Okay, I shouldn't use this, uh, Absorb against this Pokemon because... Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, no, and he's gonna do the same thing. Oh, come on! Well, at least it's, uh, confused. That's actually a good thing. Dig it down. Thank you. Alright. So now Trico leveled up and wants to learn how to use Pursuit. So I'm gonna get rid of Pound for that, because Pursuit is kind of a good move. Don't get me wrong, it's kind of a good move. Alright. Next. Is a low tad. Low tad. Low tad. All right. So 
again tuck this low tad 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 low low tad alrighty and I have a funny feeling that Trico is going to yes she is Congratulations, your Trico evolve into Crovile. Oh my god, Fury Cutter, hell yes! Let's see here. How much is Fury Cutter? Uh, ten. Um. You know what? No. No, I'm gonna keep her the way she is. Also, I wanna test up my little Crovile! All right, Geo Dude, it is. Profile. Oh my God, she's so freaking awesome. It makes it look like that her head leaf looked like a uh, a freaking hair. Like no, no kidding, it looks like a freaking hair. That's the funny thing about like I look at with Profile. She almost looks like she has a long hair. I don't know why. It just makes it look kind of cute. It just makes her look kind of cute. Alrighty. So now that's done. Now there's one more thing I want to do is because, um, one, there's an item here. And I don't think there is any hidden item here anywhere. Nope, not that I can see. Yeah, not that I can see. Also, these holes, we'll actually talk about them later. But this place, aho, this place. I want to go in here because there is a Pokemon I want to get for my next member of my team. And that's his only 100% uh, chance of finding a Wizmer. Yes, this is the Pokemon I want to use for a member of my team. So let's uh, weaken him down. Or instantly kill him. Yeah, I forgot that my freaking Crovile is very powerful, and I forgot that I actually took out the freaking. Ugh. So, okay, let's uh, get Ralts up here. Okay, so now I just. This one's really a 100% chance of, like, uh, finding a. Um, uh, finding a Wismer. So that's not going to be an issue, because Wismers are actually pretty much, uh, they're like really good encounters. So in other words, uh, you can actually find them whenever you want them to. So I'm going to like find a male uh, Wismer, which I hope it would be right about now. Nope. Fuck. Okay, then. Okay, so... Find a Wismer, find a Wismer. Oh, come on! Seriously, is finding a male really that hard? Seriously, I found one male. Is this really that hard to find a one male freaking Wismer? All I'm finding is a lot of females. Like, seriously, why am I only always finding a lot of females? Dude, seriously, I want a male. I want a male. Come on. Give me a male. Yes. Level eight. Perfect. All right, so let's uh, try to freaking... What the fuck? Bros, you're not supposed to hit a critical hit! Ah! Level 6, okay, that'll probably do, but please, Ralt, don't critical hit. 
don't kill him. I'm begging you. I'm fucking begging you. Do not kill him. Thank you. Good fucking God. Okay. Get caught. Thank you. Fucking A. Was it really that difficult to actually freaking find a male freaking fracking son of a whore flipping whisper? Boy. Like, seriously. Are whispers actually supposed to be 50% 50, 50, 50 chance of female and male? Like, seriously, are they supposed to be like an even number? Because that sure doesn't help look like one. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't go in there again, May. Damn it. Oh, look, it's a Taylo. You know, I was thinking about giving me a flying type Pokemon, but I decided probably not to. No. Get out. Thank you. Good God. Ah! If I find a female, if I find a shiny Taylo, that would be freaking awesome. Ah. Okay, so let's uh, get the fuck out. Oh, look, I found a fucking male Wismer. What the shit? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> All right. So, in other words, we got ourselves a Wismer and we got ourselves a uh, Trico evolved into a uh, Crowvile. So I think we're going to end off the video right here again, guys. So in the meantime, guys, please make a like down below and also subscribe. And if you want to comment to me, please feel free. Hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day.